Planet Side 2 on the PlayStation 4 doesn't make a great first impression, whether you are new to the game or have transitioned from the PC version. If you're new, the lack of direction can make the first moments daunting. Tooltips give you some basics upon your first interactions with various terminals and menu screens, but there are terms and mechanics you must come to grips with, and the best way to do that is to undergo trial by fire. If you're transitioning from the PC, there are other obstacles to overcome. Many of them are minor, but there are enough of them to make you pause and wonder whether these issues shouldn't have been solved. After all, PlanetSide 2 is approaching its three-year anniversary on the PC. It often takes menus several seconds to respond, making you wonder if a button press didn't register. The visuals are also a notable downgrade, a sensible sacrifice to keep the frame rate stable. Unfortunately, Planet Side 2 occasionally stutters and hitches during the most intense battles, making the compromise sometimes hard to swallow. On the other hand, Planet Side 2's special moments are too special to let these encroaching shadows envelop the game in darkness. Yes, you would reasonably expect the full release to perform better, and to have swiped away the simple bugs that occasionally crawl into view, such as the way the reddish arcs that indicate you've been hit may not disappear, or the infrequent but irritating hard crashes. But when the war heats up, there's nothing exactly like Planet Side 2, a massively multiplayer shooter in every sense of the term. The world and its continents are open and persistent, inviting combatants to fight for control over the facilities scattered across the expanses. You engage others by taking to the air and engaging in dogfights, by roaring forward in tanks, and by joining fellow infantry and rushing into ground battle. You're hooked up with a squad as soon as you log in. And while my fellow players aren't nearly as vocal or as coordinated on the PS4 as they are on the PC, it's to Planet Side 2's credit that you can get involved in warfare mere seconds after entering the world and thus the battle rages ever on. You and other comrades hop into a transport vehicle called a Sunderer. You trundle towards your destination and deploy near a facility, hoping that the terrain protects the vehicle from any heavy troops nearby. From here, the pace of battle changes depending on where the struggle occurs. A base nestled in the hills gives rise to clever sniping and streams of infantry that participate in the tug of war, as one faction pushes upwards and the other heads downwards to stop it. A flat approach, on the other hand, gives rise to a daunting river of tanks flowing as one unit towards the contested base. Tanks have a nice heft to them, making it fun to roll over hills and launch artillery at oncoming vehicles. On the flip side, launching a missile into one of those tanks, watching it explode, and hearing that rewarding audio tinkle that alerts you to experience earned is a consistent treat. Not every moment you spend in Planet Side 2 is in the midst of a massive firefight, however. There are uneventful stretches in which you and your squad capture facilities with little resistance, or amble ahead in tanks for many minutes on end, wishing there was something to shoot. Back at your faction's primary base, you might spend some time deciding how to spend the certification points you've earned during your hours and days of battle. This is your primary currency, and as is the case with so many free-to-play games, this currency accumulates slowly after the initial hours. When you feel vulnerable even when surrounded by the stolid armor of a lightning tank, it's only natural that you'd want to reinforce it. And when certs are slow to come, spending real-world money is a temptation, especially when a paid membership lets you bypass the login queues. Like so many big games with dozens of complex moving parts, your enjoyment of Planet Side 2 on the PlayStation 4 rests on how forgiving you are of technical hiccups that you would properly expect to be vanquished. It's hard to miss those big problems, but you will temporarily forget about them when battle is underway. At these moments, the troubles fade away, leaving only the frights and delights of planetary war.